So I got this needle and seat, the bowl, the paper, I was going to say paper, it's probably like a fiber, fiber gasket for your high speed, and two bowl gaskets for, I think it was $4.93 for $5. I mean, so you, you can't beat that, right? So I'm just going to rebuild it. Like I said, this machine ran fine, apparently, last year. Uh, it's a little, a little bit dirty, but it's one of those tow-along vacuums, you know, that does leaves. It's going to get dirty. Uh, but anyways, I'll clean this up. I haven't took it apart yet. So I'll, I have a suspicious feeling that there's, uh, it's all gummed up in here and dirty in a bowl. That's why I don't run. But I got this stuff anyways because, like I said, for $5, I mean, you can go ahead and clean this up and it'll probably work just the same. But for $5, I'm just going to put a new needle seat in it and, uh, I think this is the original, it's never been touched, and uh, put a gasket on it and call it a fix. I mean, like I said, if that doesn't work, if you have a carburetor that's a little tricky or running bad or something, you know, you, you, you did all this, you put this kit in there for five dollars and it's still, you know, ain't quite it because, you know, these high speeds here, they're, they're not adjustable. I mean, they got that little holes in them, you can clean them out, but remember the ones with the, the spring and, uh, you know, you can uh, adjust it this way? Uh, I like those, and you can still get them, believe it or not. Like I said, for it comes to a snowblower, they're only 15 bucks. But because this is a fixed high-speed jet, um, again, you, you can clean them. I'll show that. But um, if, if, if you go through this and clean it all up, and it's still, you know, it's running crappy or whatever, usually it's the carburetor. It could be something else, don't get me wrong, but usually it's the carburetor. Then for, uh, I'm going to say 20 bucks. I mean, like I said, I, I know I've bought in carburetors for $14, uh, but... They're so cheap, if you don't want to go through and clean them up, just get another one. I mean, this this mechanism here is part of the uh, intake throat there. You, you're not going to get that, but the whole carburetor you're going to eat, and you probably have to use this piece. I, you know, if I was to buy this, I don't know if it would come with this choke mechanism. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it can come off too easily. I don't know if it's pressed on or what, but anyways, I didn't look it up just because I, I got a kit for it, and I'm going to do that. I'm sure the thing would be, again... If I just clean this up, didn't put any parts into it, I'm sure it'll run fine. That's the way it goes. Every off-season thing, usually, if it ran great the year before, the season before, it's just, it's just, you know, usually gelled up crap in a carburetor. That's it. So I just wanted to make a little video on uh, Amazon. Just great for shit. I mean, how are you gonna beat that five bucks for, for something that? You know, I, I want to shop local, don't get me wrong, but a needle and seat, that's it. Just these two little goddamn, this little thing weighs nothing. I mean, it ain't like you're getting a hunk of metal here. Seven dollars? I mean, I, I almost was like, yeah, forget it, but I wanted to get this together. I'm still waiting on the filter. That's coming from Amazon, too. Napa couldn't even find this for whatever reason. There's no part number on it, but... He couldn't match this up. We went through the book, and you know I did too. It just, we couldn't find it, so I go on and uh, I find it on Amazon. And uh, well, geez, I, I guess it. the first thing I do is I, I soak it down with uh, some sea foam. Just let it sit a little bit, and you know, I'll take some air to it, blow off most of the crap, crap. Just so uh, you know, I got something to work with here. But that's even before I take it apart. I'll take my little toothbrush, little toothbrush, and uh, chick -chick. I'll let it set for a sec. I mean, this stuff's like, uh, you know, just just gets rid of everything. It's almost like magic eraser, you know. You ever use that? That's a good product too. This stuff, it's like it just it just melts away this crap. I mean, you get some tired around your teeth, you know. I even use sea foam on my teeth. <laughs> No, serious though. I, it, there's not a lot to uh, this. You just spray it on it just melts the stuff away. I mean, this is a soft toothbrush. Uh, but anyways, I like to get it uh, almost clean, clean before I even take it apart just so, uh, you know, look at that stuff. just falls right off. It's great stuff. Anyways, so then I'll take it over and, uh, you know, just blast it away with air. Well, i got to open that door. Yeah. So it's clean. Looks like a brand new carb. Unfortunately, that ain't gonna do the trick. Just cleaning the outside, but uh, so usually, uh, 
Usually there's a 13. Let's we'll see what this bugger looks like inside. Huh? Like I said, this thing has um, little holes in this. These are clean, actually. You can see right through them. But I just take a little pipe cleaner or a little piece of wire, run it through there, and then run some air through there also in the center. You want to get that sucker clean. Sometimes there's a piece in there that's preventing, uh, you know, preventing everything from coming through. But it doesn't look like it. Actually, I don't see daylight, so maybe something's gummed up in there. I don't see daylight coming through this way. Normally I can, but because I got a fluorescent here. But uh, something's probably gummed up in there. I'll go ahead and clean that up. But let's see. What's, let's see what's inside here. Well, actually, that's pretty clean. It's clean as a whistle, huh? A little bit of rusty looking crap on the bottom there, but it's way cleaner than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. So maybe it was just the high speed that got clogged. I'm going to replace the needle and seat anyways, but just because I'm in here. But you know, I probably won't replace this bowl, you know, because the original bowl looks fine. And uh, actually, there might be a little discrepancy. It's a little deeper, and I, the machine that this goes on, it hangs down, there's nothing to impede it, so it's the same bowl, it's just a little deeper. More gas, more power. Um, now, I'll probably just use the original. I'll have to clean this little this little ridge up before I put the, uh, the bowl ring back in there, but I'll just throw this new one in my pile of new gasket bowls, or I mean uh, carburetor bowls. This thing seems all right. I mean, technically, you can use the same thing, but I already got one. I'll just pick that off, clean the rest of this up, and I can see the needle, I mean, the seat in there. Let's see, uh, let me show you how to get that out. Hold on a second, I'm going to answer something. Well, I was just going to show you how I got that seat out of there, and I just noticed this thing's, <laughs> my rubber tip is gone, my rubber's gone. That ain't cool. So, normally what I do is, uh, to get that seat out, is I just put, there's supposed to be a rubber tip here, you know. Put that on the, the nozzle there and just hold your finger. Hold your finger over that hole. Apply some air. And you ain't got nowhere to go but out. And you'll feel it pop. And it'll hit your finger. And that's how I get it out. Let me go get that. I think I got one downstairs. I got another rubber tip. I don't know how that thing went. Uh, I'll be right back. Well, so I don't have a rubber tip. So alternate method is uh, just pick it out, right? Put a pick in there, pick it out. Don't let it come out pretty easy, but of course this one, because I got it on video, there it goes. So it comes out just using a pick, but uh, oddly enough, the um, looks pretty clean in there too. I'm going to go ahead and you know, give it a squirt of uh, crap. Oh, it did seem like something was jammed in there. Oh, it didn't come out right away. Oh, it is dirty. It's kind of got a chunk of shit in there. I don't know where it's jammed, somewhere in there. But anyways, um, I use a rubber tip normally. I just cover that hole with your finger. Pow! It usually pops right out. Otherwise, you can use a pick which is just as acceptable so before I go any further you know these uh... some of these high speeds uh... come out of there Whoop, where the hell am I some of these high speeds come out of there probably can't see in there the lights really bad and I'm looking at the wrong thing here um, well, that's weird can't see nothing in there anyways sometimes they have a god damn it Sometimes I have a removable, you know, flat bladed screwdriver, removable uh, tip, but uh, where's my, where's my cleaner? So I'm just going to go in there, and usually that straw fits right in that little hole, 
just clean all the little holes out. I mean, this ain't this is grade school stuff, but and cover your eyes because usually that shit goes right in your eye. All little holes. Oop! Get the camera. There's a little hole in there. There's a little hole here. Got to Just give them a little. Little toot everywhere. So, anyways, let me uh, let me change all this crap out here and uh, get a new new. Uh, ever poke yourself with a pick? It hurts. Take this booger off of there. It's, like I said, could have used this one. I'm sure, it would have been fine. Once you start spraying them with the carburetor cleaner, they say until you get all discombobulated and shit but because I got a new one I'll use one and the float bowl where my dad always uh shaking it what the hell are you shaking it for well it could have a hole in it and uh you know they fill up with uh liquid and they don't work I'm like seriously he's probably talking about the uh older ones that were metal you know tin or copper or whatever to use these are plastic I mean I've never seen one but you shake it and you hear something in there? Yeah. Well, I've never seen one with a hole in it. These plastic ones, uh, you know, how are you going to get a hole in it? <laughs> are you using acid for gas? But he did, uh, he did point that out several times. I remember when I was younger. But Anywho, I'll clean the rest of this crap up and uh, put everything back together. Oh, this needle, the seat, that might be worth uh, something. You see how this sucker has, uh, Uh, two sides. Can't really see it, probably on the camera, but there's a raised ridge and a flat ridge. Yeah, or flat side, and one of them has uh, like ridges. This goes. Let me see how I'm gonna orientate this. When you put this in your uh, your seat location, the flat side has to be up. So the ridge side, you know, goes in. Just remember that. This is the needle. Well, holy crap, looks like a different needle. No, it's the same one. It does look a little deeper, but I'll look at that closer. But anyways, this uh, the way this works is the flat side plugs the hole, not the ridge side. Don't put the ridge side up where the needle is going to hit probably work but it ain't going to work you know it's supposed to be the ridge side goes down your float pin goes into the flat side one more time the flat side is up if it's orientated this way the ridge side is down into your carburetor yeah, hope that help but anyways let me uh let me clean everything up a little more and uh Get everything back together, slap this on the machine, and see if it works. It did. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. So, to get this sucker in, um, again, the ridge side goes in. I just kind of, uh, I guess you can use it since you already have the pick here. Just kind of put it in there a little bit and get it started. Get it in the hole. It's in the hole, right? Let go of my pick. And then uh, just use the uh, just use the back side of the uh, the float pin. You know, you want to press it in there. Don't use the don't use the part that normally goes in there. Use the flat flat part or some tool that's similar. Yeah, so my battery died. You know uh, what a roll pin is, but uh, I bought this a while back, probably two three years ago, because I needed a. I used a screwdriver, you know, like a little thin uh, uh, screwdriver, Phillips, you know, bang out a roll pin, just makes a mess out of things, screws your screwdriver out, I'm like, hey, give me some goddamn roll pin punches, and haven't used them since, <laughs> of course, but I do keep using this 730 seconds uh, roll pin punch because it fits into the carburetor seat with no play, and then uh, that's what I use to just to push the seat in. And you'll feel it uh, 
seat. Anyways, it's a really tight fit. So, if you don't have a way to get it in, I wouldn't recommend using a Phillips screwdriver, but you see how that's got uh, a blunt tip for a roll pin. Works great. Anyways, so that's in. So we'll put the uh, put the, the float and the pin back in, and like I said, we'll uh, put the we'll put that gasket. We'll put everything back together. Put it on the machine and fire this sucker up. I do have to clean a little more, but and hopefully everything will be fine. I'm sure it will. Oh, one thing I did mention this this was different size. And I said it didn't matter. It would matter normally uh, if because this this throat is only so long, you know, for your, you know. So how's that gonna reach? But it's just the way they did it. See, they are bigger, but because this has such a big indent, it still touches the throat. And this one's flat, so that's why it, it, it could work. But if you did get some kit that was <laughs> bigger, you do, you know, have to worry about, you know, as you see how it was indented. I'm uh, still going to use the old one just because uh, there was nothing wrong with it. Sometimes they do get pitted down there, and then I would replace it, but this thing is squeaky clean. I mean, I was actually surprised how clean it was. It seems how it wasn't running, but I do think it was uh, something clogged in the, where the needle and seat come together there. And this, uh, I think there was something in here preventing gas from getting through. So. Okie dokie. So, let's... Uh, just put that uh, throttle cable on there. Tighten this booger up. Again, this thing did run, so I expect it to be no problem. Uh, you can tell why. Look at how shitty this is. It needs to be cleaned big time. It's probably never been clean. It's all crappy. Just put it away. It'll be fine. So, this... Uh, this fuel line, put it on. I suspect I should go get some. Uh, turn on the fuel here. Probably, we'll, we'll try it without it. Put the spark plug on. We'll tr look at. See that? Oh, what am I looking at here? Uh, you probably can't see it. Spark plug boot. Those aren't uh, Nick. Those are mouse marks. I had to clean this thing out. It's full of uh, mouse nests under the, you know, under the uh, starter housing here. All right, let's see what we got here. Choke, 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 choke. I think this is on. I'm not sure the covering on here. I think it's to the to the left. Let's give her a pull. See what happens. Crush fingers, choke. Well, that ain't cool. Maybe no choke? Nah, gotta be choke. <coughs> Maybe no choke. <coughs> Maybe no gas. Or maybe this is a. Uh, not sure if that's on or off. Oh, it might be that way. I don't know. It's getting dark here, but I cleaned her up a little bit. She runs good. Test it out again. <laughs> 